So I've been seeing a lot of posts on Facebook and kind of all over uh, Twitter in regards to a, uh, a child by the name of Cannon. Apparently, this is uh, a young child. I believe it was five years old, didn't even start school yet. And he was murdered on uh, on a bicycle, in his, I guess in his front lawn or on a sidewalk somewhere by a black man. And this was a white child. So I see a lot of these posts where people are like, why isn't there more riots? Why is nobody doing big riots about this? Well, the... <laughs> Now, again, this is going to offend some people. I know it is. But if you want to do riots and you want to do protests, then go do it. Now, I, I know it sounds weird me saying that, but you can't make a post on Facebook and say, oh, well, you know, here's George Floyd. There was riots over this, but there was no riots over this individual. And you're claiming racism. I have a huge problem with that. The biggest problem I have is there's nobody stopping you from writing up a sign and then going down the road and then hanging out with your friends and doing a protest. There, there, nothing is stopping you from doing that. Nothing at all, right? Uh, except for your own integrity or whatever reason you may have. You can do that. So that argument I don't like. And you best believe that if there were protests and there were rallies and there were uh, essentially, I don't, I don't want to say fallbacks, but if things happened where someone got injured, I would hold them accountable the same way that I would hold Black Lives Matter movements and protests and rallies. I would handle it the same way. Now, I know that some people are going to disagree with me and say, oh, well, you know, it's different because uh, it's, it's a child. First off, if, <laughs> look, no one is going to debate the situation with George Floyd, right? Police are designed to protect people. That's what they do. Okay, now I, I'm a, a, in no shape or fashion am I going to badmouth police officers, but I will say that he did hold his knee on his neck for entirely too long. Uh, some could argue and say, well, he should have never done it to begin with. That's a little bit of a different situation, right? You have a police officer, you have a black man. Okay, fine. Well, well not fine, but you get the idea. The other situation is an innocent child and just a random thug, if you will. I'm just going to call him that because I have no other word that I could say politely that would be accepted by the general census. We're just going to call him a thug is what he is. So now, as far as justice for him, that the individual that shot the child was already arrested. So what more do you want? Now, you can use the argument and say, okay, well, I'm going to use this argument and say, you want people to have protests and have riots for this. You want other people to act on how you feel. What about uh, before George Floyd, when, when innocent children were killed? How come there were no riots then? We just accepted it. It's just, uh, it's not fair. It's not right. It's not just, but it's just something that happened. And we just let it go. Now, again, I really want people to understand that I'm not saying that it's okay for the riots for, for Black Lives Matter. I get the protest situation. I also don't think that you should defund the police. I, we're, these are two very different spectrums, but all over Facebook, people are posting these two and they're comparing these two. I don't think that they have anything to do with each other. Like there's, there's no, there's zero correlation. There's no, now if it was, uh, let me, let me flip the role. Now, if it was uh, a black cop that killed a young child that was high on some drugs, you might have an argument, right? But that's not the case here. That's the kid wasn't on drugs and it wasn't a cop. So where exactly do those two meet up? Now, I know you're probably saying, well, Jay, you usually fall on the other side. I, I do. I fall on the devil's advocate side. I fall on, okay, if we're looking at it this way, it has to be the same, at least somewhat similar situation. The only thing that is similar here is white on black and black on white. That's the only thing that's similar. That, that's it. The ages are different. The, 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 the demographics of the areas are different. The neighborhoods are different. There, there's a lot of things that do not match up. So I, I just think it's really important for people that want to be, quote, end quote, well, quote, social justice warriors, end quote. 
uh, either on the liberal or uh, on the conservative side. If you want to do something, then do it. Don't ask other people to start a protest or a rally in someone's name. Pick up a fucking fence or pick up a sign, write some things on it, and walk down and start it. Start a, a protest. I don't know who you're protesting against, though, because there, there's... You don't... There... You, you, you have nothing to go against. It's a random act of a heinous crime that should have never happened. And, and that's why I stand with that. And I, I think it's really super important that I, I really wanted to address the people that keep on posting this on Facebook. And, and it's, it's the people that were, oddly enough, uh, on the same side I was in regards to Black Lives Matter, the, the protests and rallies. Again, you want to do that, that's fine. Once you start destroying statues is when I take it personal. Okay, or, or, or you say that all oh, white people should die. Yeah, I'm going to take that personal. But that didn't happen in the other situation. There was actually news on this. So what happened was the, the child in question had died about six days ago. There was a local media a branch, okay, if you will, that reported it. But it didn't hit mainstream media till like either yesterday or the day before. Granted, there's no big uprising over this because there are no protests. You understand? The, the reason why the protests really spiked and then the media covered it, I'm not sticking up for the media. I want people to understand that, is that that was a lot of coverage because that's what's hot. That's not happening here, and I think that most people want to see that happen, but they don't want to take that step to make that happen. And, and, and that's something that is marquee here. If you don't, don't preach to other people what you don't practice. Lead by example. Don't, don't follow because if, if you're posting something and arguing with people about to do something, then do something. It's that simple. Again, I'm not saying that the media is right. Just lead by example. People are going to use the argument of race a lot. They're going to say, okay, the black and white thing. You know, what? one thing that really pissed me off originally with uh, Gerald, well, someone that followed me, whatever, is inside a chat, immediately when he saw that clip, he said, okay, that's racism. Off the jump, because it was a black and a white person. And you could use the argument and say that it is racism for the child and the person that killed the child. I'm not saying that that's fine, but these two things, I, I'm having the hardest time linking these things. I don't see the correlation. I just don't. There's a lot of people that are like, we got to do something. We got to we gotta move. We got to cover this in the media. Every branch of media has covered this. They have. CNN, ABC, Fox. Every major news network has already covered this. How much coverage they have on it is totally different. But again, if you want more coverage, then do something about it. When you watch the George Floyd clip, right, that was kind of leaked from Daily Mail, and I'm sure a lot of people have seen this, it kind of gives you a different story to follow. I don't know why this wasn't released. Well, I, in a way, I kind of do. The attorney general didn't want to release anything to anybody because it 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 failed. It, it would it would hurt the prosecution, or they didn't want to do anything to deflect away from the prosecution. Not justice, prosecution. Prosecution. Well, you could argue and say is good or bad, but if it's going to affect the prosecution, what does that tell you about that clip? that there's more to the story, right? Nobody filmed it from the start to the end, but when you see how resilient and how he, before he even got in the truck, he was saying he can't breathe, clearly there's a problem before he's even on the ground. Again, I am not justifying what the police officer did, right? I don't think anybody is going to sit here and say that that's okay. It's wrong. It is. It's also wrong that the, that wasn't released earlier for people to really make an assessment as to what exactly happened. What led us to where we are today? I don't believe that we should look at the past and, and really judge somebody for their past unless it's absolutely heinous. Give people a second chance. Let people 
uh, learn from their mistakes. Apparently, uh, George Floyd will not ever have that opportunity to learn from his mistakes because, sadly, his life was taken. I don't think anybody's life should be taken uh, unless, of course, there is cer certain circumstances like in time of war. Obviously, that's got people are going to die. That is just a part of life. You're in that war zone. You're uh, whether you are an innocent civilian or you're serving the military for whatever country you're in. Totally different scenario, but that's that doesn't really apply to to this situation right now. I also don't think he's a martyr, but you know that's another story in itself. I understand that it may affect the case, but that's a good thing because if their goal is to prosecute this individual or these individuals, all the cops, for manslaughter and murder, you need, people need to see that, right? If, if, if that clip is out, you should have released those clips earlier so people could have seen the whole scenario. That maybe would have made the protest and the riots a whole lot less worse knowing the whole situation. We can sit here and disagree with that all day long. No, it wouldn't have mattered. I, I really have to disagree because that that makes it a little bit less as heinous as what one may think by watching the clip where his knee is on his neck. If there was no clip where, where someone wasn't on the side of the road filming, I, I still think that there's also some more of the clip that needs to be seen, but that wasn't leaked. I'll tell you this, though, the person that leaked that footage, you, whoever is responsible for that footage and that editing, someone lost a job. Either someone lost a job, someone got hurt, because there is no way that somebody somewhere saw that clip and that isn't tracked. Like, there has to be a sign-in sheet. There has to be like, okay, this guy here was uh, in the room watching the clip. That's the guy that leaked it. Okay. It, it just puts a different perspective on it. That's all I'm saying. It just it just gives you a different angle to look at it. I, I it really does. The bottom line is I don't think that we should be holding the uh, the the child, Cannon and George, in the same bracket. I don't think that they belong in the same thing. And the people that are posting it that were very anti Black Lives Matter, you just make yourself look more ridiculous. Because you were quick to mock those individuals, but you don't want to do anything about it. Then you just have to sit down and don't post. Or you can post, but be prepared for the repercussions. I'd be willing to bet that there's someone here that is watching this that totally disagrees with me. I'd love to hear the opposing argument to that. Do you know about the little girl? that was killed by the three white men in California? Do you know about that? No, you don't. You know why? Because it's not on the media. Just because a child is killed doesn't mean that all media has to put that out there. I can see the difference here, right? The, the white on black versus the black on white. White on white is not going to matter. It's just like black on black is not going to matter, right? It, it is the media dividing those two entirely and creating uh, I'm not going to use the word systemic racism, but they're creating that tension, whether it is for political gains, whether it's for ratings, no matter what it is, uh, the media is doing that. But I, I think it's funny because people were very quick to judge and say, oh, Jay's racist or, or Jay doesn't support Black Lives Matter. Look, I'm not going to put Black Lives Matter over my avatar on Facebook because I feel like I want to be part of the crew in the Me Too movement, right? They're, I have plenty of black friends. They're in the chat, right? They're going to be in the comments. But the, but the fact remains is that if you're going to hold one candle to one, if you're going to hold one candle to one, you have to hold a candle to another. If the roles were reversed, I, I know a lot of people use this argument saying, okay, if it was a white man that uh, killed a black child, right? So so let's use the canon. So I, I hate to keep using that name in vain like that, but let's just, we're not going to put a name. So let's just say that the roles are reversed and this happened the other way. There's no way to know that. All we could do is just look at the situation and assume that what happened. Just based off of what has happened in the past six months, 
I don't know if that is a fair assessment to say that because we haven't seen it. All we're doing is just assuming that would happen. Do I believe that? Yeah, I feel like it would. I feel like it would kind of rile it back up again. But there has been a lot of steam that has been blown off. I, maybe it maybe it would reactivate it, but how, how are we to know that? The only way we would know that is it actually happening and then seeing it, and then we would have a valid argument. I just think that we have to look at it from all angles instead of just, look, we're only human, right? I, I don't know. A, a tough call. The media is only going to show things... Look, I want to sit here and preach fake news. I do. I, I really do. But the media is only going to show things that are going to bring up how many people are viewing it. When is the last time that you saw Fox or CNN or ABC or any of these news media outlets posted so much on Facebook, like clips? Barely ever. The only time you do that is when it's an attack on a political figure. Uh, again... I'm not saying that Donald Trump is a saint. I'm not saying that Kamala Harris, or however you spell her name or say it, is a saint either. It's just that what we're seeing, it doesn't bring up ratings, excuse me, showing a media clip like that. And plus, nobody really watches the media now. Uh, now, well, they watch it now more than they did before, is my point. So you're going to get more things that are against somebody trying to validate their narrative. And I'm just really trying to see past that. I'm trying to see what the media is telling us or isn't telling us. And this is just going off of what people are posting. I'm trying not to really use the media here because I'm not a big viewer in media. I just don't like watching it. If you don't, it's the same theory that I have when people watch my channel. If you don't like the content, don't turn it on. I don't like the media, so I don't watch it. You know, like I don't I don't even watch TV shows. I feel like there's too much drama in Game of Thrones and Walking Dead. So I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm, just not, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna put myself in that situation. But people are prone to watching drama or or, or riots because it's uh it's riveting. It's things are happening that should not be happening. They do that narrative with the white on black thing, and they always link it to racism, which I don't think is correct. Uh, it's just like calling Donald Trump a racist. It's absolutely ludicrous. It is ludicrous. Like, and then to say America as a whole is a racist, we had a black president. Like, I, I, for, for someone to say that is just, is, is, is truly in a state of their own mind. They, I, I no idea what they're reading or what they're seeing regardless of whatever media. So you do see that a lot. But there was something that I, I cannot remember what it was that I had Sean look up. And it was so hard to find. And it was from like 2006 because of the way that it was worded um, in the article. And it was a, a, a white on black thing.